In this video, I'm going to share some of my personal lessons from the field related to auto takeoff and auto landing with your PixHawk or APM flight controller. If you've been following my channel for a while, you'll know that I've been flying with the Delta Wing and PixHawk installed to do autonomous missions. And previously, when I was doing that, I would actually go in here, create my survey area. So I'll just give an example here. And then I'd go in and tell it to do the survey grid tool. And in here, you can tell it that you want it to add takeoff and land waypoints. And where I've run into problems with that is you'll have your takeoff here and then a waypoint here. Then it'll basically generate a, another waypoint behind you, just like we see over here. And so what happened was it was able to ascend to this first waypoint, but then turn around and wasn't able to get enough altitude before it hit the second waypoint and ultimately ended up in a tree. So let me just cut to a quick clip where you can see that happen. You'll see the wing come around and then head right back towards me. And just listen closely right after it passes overhead, you'll hear it run into the small tree. Woo! So you could see that take off, turn around. I was actually right about this area and then it came through and hit a pretty dense bush right here. Thankfully it was a bush and then actually fell belly down into this creek. And so no physical damage, no electrical damage. I was very lucky. It was basically sitting in there floating like a boat. Now when planning my missions, I manually set these waypoints far enough apart so I can get altitude and then you can see that before it starts the survey grid, it has plenty of time to get up to proper altitude. And so what I've done to make sure this mission is successful is I've stepped this up. This is probably at about 20 meters. You have plenty of time to get to 100 and then over here we're at 120 for this entire mission. So let's cut to a quick clip of the takeoff and some of the mission and then we'll talk a little bit about the auto landing. It's cruising, but keeping stable. Should be getting some good photos. Now it's on a two second interval, which ultimately it should be distance based just so when we're flying into wind, you don't have too much overlap, but still a good field test. We're at waypoint number eight, getting close to about halfway done. So we're about waypoint 15. It's gonna go down, probably take another pass, then come back and land on its own. Now you can see it's really fighting that wind hard right now, barely making any progress. Okay, we're coming home. Now hopefully we'll see it kind of bank left a little bit. The same thing applies for the auto landing as does the auto takeoff. Lesson learned, I did this a few months ago and really wasn't paying attention. Maybe the sun was too bright and too much glare on my screen, but what I should have done is drag this out a little bit longer. What I was hoping to do is let the wing come in, kind of cut around and then land in this field, but you can see that this is a pretty sharp cut and pretty abrupt landing and what I should have done is probably drag this out a little bit further or add another waypoint and step that down. Alternatively I could have put this further back and then given it more time to land and since the wind was coming out of the south that day that's what I wanted. I wanted to land in the wind and in just a second I'll cut to a clip where you can see it's right on this point but the motors cut and it starts to drift over here just using its flaps to get on the ground. So let's take a quick look at that. We're going to be going into the sun. Just kind of working its way down. Nice and steady. I'm going to kind of cut to the right a little bit. A little bit of a nose dive, but let's go check it out. Okay, you can see we're upside down. Probably do a better job of planning that landing waypoint. The wind was quite significant today. No major damage, but you can see that the battery was actually pulled loose. I had it Velcroed down pretty good. It actually pulled the ESC off the motor. So no major physical damage, which is good. 
Make sure that you spend the proper amount of time planning your takeoffs and landings. It's easy to just let the auto waypoint tool do that for you. Obviously, it doesn't account for wind conditions, obstacles, changes in terrain, limited landing space. So it's always good to manually do that. And I can guarantee you'll have much better success with your missions. I'll be working on processing the imagery and putting a video together that shows how to generate the ortho mosaic using PIX4D from this mission. So I hope this video was useful. If you have any questions or comments, please post them below. Until next time, thanks for watching.